Hi everyone, it's Kirchi. For my toy collection showcase, I'm gonna be showcasing the Hello Kitty and Friends Minis. These are Sanrio compact toys that come in fun shapes. We have a tub of popcorn, a cup of hot cocoa, a teacup, a hamburger, a cupcake, and a taco. I especially love how consistent the packaging is. As a collector, this is exactly what I'm looking for. So without further ado, let's begin the showcase. We are going to start with this one because she's pink and looks very girly. This is called Tea Party, and this is very obviously shaped like a teacup. On the back, we can see how it looks when it's opened. We can see the interactive elements and a call out to the hamburger one. I do love the packaging with this. I love how they have stayed true to the whole stationary thing that Sanrio is famous for. Love the pink and purple combination and the stripe pattern up here too. And can't forget that iconic Hello Kitty bow. All of these have Hello Kitty and on the side here, we can see who our featured character is and this one is Pom Pom Purin. That's right, I said Pom Pom Purin, which is my pronunciation of it, Pom Pom Purin. As much as I want to keep this in the packaging, part of me collecting and showcasing these toys is getting to take them out and play with them. So let's open her up. This is incredibly cute. It also feels decent quality, despite the fact that it's made of plastic. And it is a teacup, we can see the spout and the handle. But up here, it looks like it has a coin purse design. So on the front, we see Hello Kitty's beautiful face. She's got flower decorations up here. Her signature bow, which is pink this time. The handle is also shaped like a bow. Here's the spout and it has a little flower on it. The back is pretty blank, so nothing was really done here. But the bow handle seems to have more detail on the back versus the front. And on the bottom, we have the manufacturer info. This is a collaboration between Sanrio and Mattel, and the year is 2020. Our main character is Miss Hello Kitty herself. She has a pink outfit, a flower on her head instead of her signature bow, and our second character is Pom Pom Purin. We also get this little mini teacup. It's blue and it has Hello Kitty's bow on the front, and we have this bouquet of flowers which goes over the teacup. Here is our stationery. This one is yellow, so you can write cute little notes on here. And here is our pencil, and we can barely see it, but... It says, Hello Kitty and Friends. We also get this plastic strap that we can attach to the compact. We just loop these hearts together, and there it is. And now we can loop it through our hand. Is this gonna fit me? Or I can just grab it like this. Now let's open up this teapot. I love how happy and sunny this looks. It definitely looks like the little mini TV series that I see on Sanrio's Instagram. Over here, we are in a garden. There's a pink teapot here with a door. And I love the Hello Kitty bow throughout this entire design. There's one here, on top there. And right through this door, we see a little bedroom. There's a bed, pictures a telephone, a mirror, and a bookcase. It looks so cute and cozy in there. I also love the wallpaper because I have a thing for pink stripes. Over here is another teacup with Hello Kitty's face on it, and this swings side to side. Down here we have some seats and a table so we can have a tea party. And this is a little flower platform where we can put the characters. And this can travel up and down like an elevator. It's a bit difficult to move, but it's moving. We also have some nice textures up here. We have plants back here. And I thought this was a fence, but it doesn't make sense as a fence. I just like it. And in the background, we have beautiful crisp graphics. There's a trellis with flowers, Hello Kitty balloons, presents, a rainbow and clouds. Very, very gorgeous, super happy, and puts you in such a good mood. And on this side, we see Hello Kitty's outline. And this is actually where we put the stationery. We remove this, put the stationery in here, perfect fit, and put this back. That is so awesome. I was actually worried that there wasn't gonna be a spot for the stationery. This is such a cool way to store it. It looks beautiful too, and it looks like it's part of the design. We also have beautiful flower patterns on the side here. We see another trellis in the background. 
And we have this bow, and this is actually a separate attachment that you can remove. Now we pull this down and see more of the compact. This is a birthday party. There's a giant cake over here. That is supposed to be a candle, but it's looking a little questionable. Another Hello Kitty bow. This cake must have cost hundreds of dollars. Look how intricate this is. And it's a three-tier cake. Is this a birthday or a wedding? We also have some big presents because we're so popular and everyone wants to buy us things. More Hello Kitty bow designs. And in the background, tons of flowers, balloons, a Hello Kitty face over here, and the same heart and flower textures up here. So this is quite plain. They didn't color every element, but Hello Kitty is known for being more minimal anyway. And again, this is just more repaint projects for me to do in the future. And on this platform, we have another Hello Kitty face. We can actually put the stationery right in here, and I think this is where we can write on it. I'm gonna slide this through here. Another perfect fit! This is so cute! So far, I like this so much more than those big pencil cases. I just love this part. This is my favorite part. This one too, how it fits perfectly here. And if I set it on my table like this, I can just write on the stationery. I also love how throughout here we see some envelopes, and in the background it looks like a laced doily or some kind of placemat. It's supposed to make it look like you're on an actual desk. I think it's super cute and I absolutely love this. As a designer, I just eat this up because it has beauty, it has function. This is just one of the coolest, most ingenious designs I've ever seen on a toy. My only critique is I would love to have a place for the pencil as well. I guess I can just stick it in here, but you risk getting pencil marks on the compact. But other than that, I love this so, so much. Next up, we have the cupcake, and this is called Cupcake Bakery. Here is the bag with all of the fun stuff we can do, and it's weird that they gave a call out to the cupcake, which is the very toy we're already holding. Anyway, let's open her up. Another super cute compact. I love how Hello Kitty is the cupcake. There are some slight manufacturing errors. There's a scratch here, and there's a bit of dirt here. But overall, still super cute, and I love the mixture between the matte and the shiny plastic that they used. She actually feels and looks like an eggshell. So here we have the classic white Hello Kitty, her red bow, which is what she's known for, and a strawberry in the middle. The bottom here is the cupcake paper to hold the cupcake together. There's a little heart here. And this is the loop for the strap. And here is our strap looped through the heart. I really wish it would fit me because I can totally accompany my outfit with this. Here is Hello Kitty and she is the owner of this cafe. She's got a cute pink dress with a bow on it and she's holding a tray of milkshake. And our secondary character is My Melody. We also have this mug, which looks like an ice cream sandwich, and some icing, which is the cover of the mug. I love how this icing looks. Look at all of that detail. Something about this just makes me want to eat it. This is our stationery, and it's lavender this time. There's a cupcake on her bow, and sprinkles. We are in a cupcake cafe. Up here is the actual cafe where we can pick out our cupcake and eat it on this side. Here we have some chairs and a table with cupcakes already on it. This is also a seesaw. It moves ever so slightly. Back there is a nice selection of cupcake flavors. Here is the cash register where we can buy the cupcakes. And we also see some cupcakes on the front here. Very nice wallpaper in the back. I love the sprinkles and Hello Kitty bow patterns. There's a beautiful chandelier up here too. And this fancy pearl and gem pattern. The platform here also has some icing decoration. Very nice touch. And down here is the kitchen where we can bake our cupcakes. Here's our stove and again, another nice touch with the Hello Kitty bow. 
We can open it up and see what we are baking in there. We have a couple cupcakes baking. Here are some platforms for the characters and they actually spin so the characters can look like they're dancing. We have some baking utensils in the back. Very nice silhouettes of cupcakes, icing, piping bags, and this giant shape kind of looks like Hello Kitty's bow. I really love the artists and designers who worked on this. Very beautiful. And we have some sprinkle textures and Hello Kitty's bow all throughout the background. And on this side, we have another area for our stationery. Again, more beautiful textures. I love these so much. There's jewels, pearls, cupcakes, sprinkles. And this, I just realized, is the stand to help prop it up. And this one is in the shape of a Hello Kitty cupcake. The most satisfying part is putting the stationery in there because it's such a perfect fit. And here is our frame to hold it in place. I love how it just snaps on there. This is so beautiful. I love the colors that they chose here. And right in here, we get a beautiful cupcake tower. This looks like a fancy cupcake tower that you would see at some grand party or ball. I love the detail and textures on this. I just wish that it was painted. But again, just more stuff for me to do in the future. There is really good detail there though. You can even see the individual sprinkles on the cupcakes. More branding of Hello Kitty's bow. We also have some fancy looking bows up here. Fancy curtains. And in the background we have more decorations that look like gems and jewels. This kind of looks like an oven mitt. We can also put the characters in here. And here is another spot for our stationery. Pink and purple just go so good together. And up next we have the popcorn. This is called Popcorn Sleepover. And here are all the fun things on the back. And we get a call out to the elusive taco compact that just arrived at my house recently. Let's open it up. I'm not even surprised anymore at how cute this is. This design is just so freaking adorable. We have the classic Hello Kitty face, but this time she is blush pink. Her bow is also pink. And with popcorn containers, we normally see red and white, but this is pink and white, which definitely works because she's Hello Kitty. And up here is my favorite part, which is the actual popcorn. I am obsessed with movie theater popcorn, and it's actually the only reason I even go to the theaters anymore. And here is the strap attached. Here is Hello Kitty, and this time she has a baby pink and baby blue dress. And our second character is my Melody with her classic look. We also get this pink mug with Hello Kitty's bow on it. And this is also a soda can. We can pop the top and place one of the characters inside. And here is our fun stationery. It's Hello Kitty's face and she's got 3D glasses and there's a popcorn design here. It is definitely a slumber party up in here. Down here we have our state-of-the-art home movie theater. We can watch Hello Kitty and My Melody have some kind of dance party going on through the screen. We can also flip this around and see another TV show featuring Hello Kitty. It looks like she's on a hot air balloon shaped like herself and she's flying in front of a rainbow. This TV is in the shape of Hello Kitty's face and we have two Hello Kitty seats over here and a big tub of popcorn. In the background, we have some balloons, party lights, a popcorn machine back there. Here are more refreshments. We have pizza, soda. In the background, we have more balloons and streamers and fairy lights. And up here, we have a karaoke stage. Hello Kitty pillows back there. And this is our bunk bed. We can see a Hello Kitty laptop that is so cute. And when we open this, it converts into a little bed. And here is also the top bunk. I actually have a blanket like this where it's cross hatch and it has Hello Kitty's bow on it. I was actually considering throwing it away because it's old, but I think I'll keep it after this. I love how gorgeous and dreamy this curtain is. It has stars and fairy lights. It's so beautiful. And on this side, we have the stationary holder. 
For some reason, this had tape on it and the other ones didn't. And when I removed the tape, it didn't come off all the way, so you can see some sticky residue here. But all around here, we see popcorn, soda, movie-themed designs, and our platform stand is a movie ticket. And of course, it has to have Hello Kitty's bow on it. Now comes my favorite part, which is putting the stationery on this holder. This is so satisfying. I just love this. So cute! Now let's open this up. And here is a much bigger lounging area where we can relax and watch movies. Here's a giant Hello Kitty beanbag chair, another giant pillow, and in the background more movie themed designs. We have popcorn, stars, and this giant roller coaster looking thing is a movie reel. And we can just place the characters right inside here. And here is another stationary holder. And all around here, it's made to kind of look like a very messy desk. We have some movie tickets, a slice of pizza, popcorn all around here. We definitely need to clean up, but it's a slumber party and we're having a good time. Next up, we have the hot cocoa, and this is called Coco Campsite. Here are all the sweet little elements, and we get a throwback to the cupcake again. This looks absolutely delicious. I love the biscuit bow up here. It's making me really hungry. This is a giant Hello Kitty face in the shape of a mug, and up here we have some very fluffy whipped cream, and here is our strap attached. Here is Hello Kitty. She's wearing vibrant pink overalls and she has a flower on her head. And here is Choco Cat. I love how deep this black color is. Normally black plastic looks a bit washed out, but this is very deep. And we have the cutest Hello Kitty mug. And the bottom part is a biscuit and the cover is also a biscuit. Why does this look so delicious? I just want to take a bite out of it. And here is our stationery. We have a sweets theme here, so here's a chocolate popsicle. And here's some chocolate syrup with tons of sprinkles. This reminds me of Willy Wonka. Up here we have the actual campsite, as this compact is called. Here is our tent, and it looks like it's made of biscuits as well. And we can open it up and see our campfire. We are also toasting some marshmallows. And we can see more of that biscuit pattern in the background. Here is our Hello Kitty telescope where we can look at the constellations. And here is a Hello Kitty constellation. And back here we can see some ice cream with sprinkles, chocolate, cherries. And down here it looks like banana split with more ice cream. And here is our Hello Kitty blanket which looks like some kind of peppermint candy. And we can open this up to put our character in this little cot. And the floor looks like it's made of wafers. We have beautiful star textures up here to match the night sky. Tons of ice cream designs on the side. And down here we have a giant boat and it rocks back and forth. And as we are rocking it, we are dipping these cookies in the milk, which is this giant river. That is so creative. Normally with candy themes, the river is chocolate, but this time it's milk and I think that is so cute and different. And way in the background, we can see more popsicles and sweets. Here is our stationery holder. We have tons of sweets here. We got marshmallows, wafers, little mug designs. And our stand is another one of those Hello Kitty biscuits. Now for my favorite part. If you ever get a chance to buy this toy, you have to try this because it's just so satisfying. It even matches my nails. And right through here, we get a giant ice cream sundae. I love the shooting star. It's so beautiful. We can place the characters in here. There's tons of detail on this ice cream. We can see the chocolate syrup, the sprinkles, another platform for the characters right in there. It just looks so delicious and just needs some paint to really make it pop. Back there, we have more shooting stars more sweets. We got wafers, chocolates, cookies. Down here as well on our little desk, we have marshmallows, biscuits. Look at this Hello Kitty chocolate. That is so cute. And our stationery just fits right in here so we can write a sweet little note. We 
are getting close to the end. This is our second to last one, and this is the hamburger, and it's called Hamburger Diner. Disappointingly, someone has stuck a very large barcode on the back, but we can see some of the interactive elements and a call out to the teacup, the very first one we just saw. This looks so delicious, I could just take a bite out of it. One of the reasons I love Hello Kitty so much is her shape is so versatile, she can transform into anything. So here she is as a hamburger. She's got lettuce, cheese, the patty, and she's got a pink bow. The only thing missing would be some sesame seeds to tie it all together, but she's still super cute. And here is our lovely strap attached to the compact. And here is Diner Hello Kitty. I love how vintage she looks. I love this red and white striped outfit she's got on. And she's holding a tray of milkshake. And our second character is the adorable cinema roll. We also have this ketchup bottle, which matches my nails. And this top part comes out, and we can put the characters inside. Here is our stationery. This time she's got sesame seeds up here. And here's a burger on her bow. This reminds me of a 90s restaurant. All the vibrant colors, the fun furniture design. Here is where we can eat our meal. We have some Hello Kitty chairs. Hello Kitty in the background. And we can actually switch up what we're eating. So here we are sharing a milkshake. And when I rotate this handle, it looks like these are burgers and fries. We can also change this picture. So here it is daytime and we have Hello Kitty holding a burger. And when we flip it over, it's nighttime and Hello Kitty is sleeping, but she's eating a burger in her sleep. I love this design. It is a ketchup bottle, and here's the ketchup coming out of it. The stairs are also made of little mini burger sliders. And down here we have a dance floor. We can move the platform. This Hello Kitty jukebox is so cute. I want one. And here is another stage for the characters to have fun dance, sing. Back there in the kitchen, we can see some goodies cooking. I love the Hello Kitty kitchen appliances. And in the background, we have some fast food wallpaper and more fun textures all around to really make it look like there's a party going on. I miss when restaurants used to look like this. Then on this side, we have our stationary holder. More fun fast food designs. We have burgers, fries, milkshakes, and our stand here is in the shape of roller skates. And now we can put our stationery in here. Pop this back on, and there it is. And right through here, it looks like we have maybe a drive through because I can see this giant arrow telling us where to go. There's this giant milkshake here. It looks like it's ube flavored. Then we have a mini Hello Kitty milkshake here. And behind this Hello Kitty bow is a spot for our characters. And behind this arrow is another spot. This might actually be a roller rink. We can see some indication of party lights in the background, more burger and fry patterns, and it just looks super fun. Down here, more fast food designs. Here's another ketchup bottle, fries everywhere. I want fries now. And we can put our stationery in here. Dear McDonald's, please remove all the calories from your french fries so I can eat as much of it as I want. And lastly, we have the taco compact called Taco Party. Here are all the fun things on the back, and we get a little call out to the popcorn one. I'm very excited to open this because this just came to my house. It took forever to get here too, so let's go. This is definitely unique. The first thing I notice is how thick it is compared to the other ones. So the other ones follow this template and the taco is significantly bigger. So I wouldn't say that it goes well with the other sets, but it does have some elements that are consistent with the other sets, such as this coin purse thing, the heart loop, the stationery inside, all that good stuff. And seeing Hello Kitty as a taco is something I never thought I would see. She is so cute and delicious looking. Her bow has a tomato on it. We can also see some textures on the taco shell. There's lettuce right behind here. We can also see the contents of the taco. There's cheese, vegetables, beans, everything you'd find in a taco. And here it is with our strap. 
Out of all the other ones though, this one looks the most like a clutch bag. That's what it is, a clutch bag. I have been calling it coin purse this whole time. Clutch bag is what these are meant to look like. Here is Hello Kitty, she is wearing a polka dot dress. And here is Bats Maru, who is lavender for some reason. I wonder how they chose these colors. We also get this chili pepper, and you can remove the stem, very cute. And here is our stationery. This shade of green reminds me of guacamole, which I'm sure is intentional. We have some party confetti here, and a taco right on her bow. We have a fun little taco truck scenario here. We all love a good taco truck, and here is one with Hello Kitty's bow on it, of course. We can see some goodies through the window. We can open it up and place the characters inside. We see some tacos, drinks, other ingredients to make our food. I also love how the wheels look like tomatoes. And here is another dance platform with that same lever that makes the characters move up and down. In the background, we can see some refreshing drinks. It looks like lemonade. I love those little umbrella things over the mason jars. The party continues up here. We have a DJ booth with slices of fruit for decoration. And here is a photo booth. We can put the characters back there and see their faces through this Hello Kitty avocado. We can move this down so we can see more details. A Hello Kitty camera, how cute. Some photography props over here and a fun background. This looks so fun and festive and for some reason, taco parties are very trendy now. I see them all over social media. There are taco baby showers, taco bridal showers. What is up with tacos lately? It was llamas before, then unicorns, and now we have tacos. And on this side we have our stationary holder. We can see some nacho chips in the background, refreshing drinks, and more tacos. Those little triangle patterns remind me of the 90s. I love it. And our stand here is a lime wedge in the shape of Hello Kitty. You can really transform Hello Kitty into anything. Let's put our stationery in here one last time. Pop this on. I love the colors on this one. And right through here, we have a giant taco boombox. Look at all the detail on this one. We can see the speakers, a cassette tape in there, throwback to the 90s anyone. The dial is Hello Kitty's bow, and we see the lettuce right behind the taco shell. Here is a giant drink where we can put the characters, another Hello Kitty lime wedge, and in the background tons of confetti, party streamers. We are having such a fun dance party. And down here we got more nacho chips, lemon wedges, we have a couple polaroids, and here is a bowl of guacamole. And we can put our stationery right in here. Beautiful, adorable, trendy. And that was the Hello Kitty and Friends minis. I absolutely love them. I think they're super cute and unique. I love the exterior and it reminds me of the big pocket worlds. I can't wait to see what other kinds they're gonna make. I especially love the stationary storage. I think these are absolutely worth it if you're a collector and a Sanrio fan. Thank you for watching my toy collection showcase and I'll see you on the next one.